Hello. Hey. How are you all? Welcome Good to Big area. City. Can I have a, just a, a black hot coffee? We're here today at the coffee shop to meet Dr. Smith. Tammy knows Dr. Smith's coming today, but I think she's only okay with it because he's coming by himself. We talked to Tammy till we're blue in the face. Maybe getting Dr. Smith down here will snap her out of it and we can get her to where she needs to be. Like, give us a glimmer of hope. You know, that shows a lot of support, whether she wants to take advantage of it or not. Wonderful hey, to see you, sir. How, How are you, doing? buddy? I'm good. good to see you. You're looking good. I can't complain. Doing pretty <laughs> decent. Thank How are you, baby? The baby sister. Good to see this you. This is the youngest one nice of the crew. Nice to see you. I'm glad I finally get to meet you. Last time I saw Tammy about three months ago, she really had not made much of an effort at all. And I thought it would be an opportunity that I could swing by and just come and check on her. I have nothing to lose in offering my support to her. And in the end, I just want her to know I'm an advocate for her health. Um, irregardless of surgery. Well, I'm glad we could catch up. You know, it's been, it's been about three months since I've seen her in the office. Um, so, where is she now? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she's back there. 690, 700 pounds. So approaching 700 pounds. Yeah, I would say. And she, now she's drinking. Three, you know, four like, times a week. She's, and not the, with the weak stuff. She's, she's drinking, drinking hard liquor. Salad. Yeah, oh, wow. she's, she's drinking hard liquor. You know, Tammy still never dealt with her food addiction. Yeah. With the alcohol, we have to be careful because people will convert. They'll take an addiction and they'll convert it to something else. So even if I can get her to eat better, even if I can get her to stop drinking, if we don't get to the root of the problem, why she's, she's eating and why she's else. drinking, she's going to find something else. And when I tell her, this is not good for you, She's like, I need to work on my mental health. I'm like, yeah, but drinking is not helping your mental health. She's actually right. Her mental health is not good. She's got to be doing something about it. Yeah. She's got to be willing to be compliant with talking to therapists, talking to people, doing the things that we will put in place with her to help her mental health. Maybe we can just do one baby step at a time. If he can talk her into at least showing up to the mental health appointments, that's a win in itself because she won't do nothing right now. She's not getting any help in that whiskey bottle. There is not a therapy in the bottom of that jar. We all have our demons. We all have things that we battle with. Until we hit our rock bottom, we can't go back up. I don't think Tammy's hit her rock bottom yet, and that's what scares me. But what is rock bottom for her? She's already ha been on life support. That, I don't that's know. That's the variable. That's what I'm saying. That's the variable. Rock bottom we, we, the all, we all only know what our rock bottom is for ourselves. Unfortunately, some people's rock bottom is much lower than others. We're all tired of beating our head against the wall, trying to motivate Tammy. Basically, it boils down to ain't nobody can do nothing for her until she's ready to start making the changes she needs. The problem is, is with Tammy, by the time she gets rock bottom, is she gonna be too far to go on to come out and recover? I wanna see a glimmer and hope in her. That's my focus on talking to her today. Last time I saw Tammy about three months ago, I really left it up to her to let me know when she was ready to try to move forward. But I did not want Tammy to think that I was ever giving up on her. Even if I walk in and she kicks me out, I just want her to know that I'm here for her. Come in. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm here. I just thought I'd drop by. Is that OK? Of course. How you been? Very good. Good to see you. A few days ago, Chris had mentioned that Dr. Smith wanted to stop by and say hello. Well, you know, he did. I really don't know what Dr. Smith has in mind. I mean, he's a bariatric doctor. I mean, he's probably going to throw some weight loss in there somewhere. Well, I was kind of in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I got a chance to stop by and say hi to Chris. I finally got to meet your sister, which is kind of cool. Oh, you met Amy? I did. So how you feeling? Right now? Good. So you say right now, good. Sometimes good, sometimes yeah. bad. Yeah. No, I get it. Dad on mental health. Are you are you struggling with that right now? Some big time. Are you? Are you battling with some depression? Yeah. 
Is it worse when you're by yourself versus when people are here? By myself. Okay. That's why I kind of felt like I needed to just take a break, not think about diets, relationships, just clear my mind. Yeah. Just work on me. So, tell me what your how your days are going. Mostly partying. Are you? I don't want to lecture. I'm not gonna lecture you. <laughs> Listen, I can't come in your house and lecture you. <laughs> when you say partying, you just drinking more or like yeah, what? drinking, smoking. Mm -hmm. I started vaping. Okay. How much do you think you're drinking a week? Maybe eight bottles a week. Like this of liquor? Oh wow, Tammy, <laughs> that's a lot. Tammy's doing a lot of partying, um, which raises a concern for me. That alone is putting her in severe danger. She says she's focusing on her mental health, which if that was true, I'm all about that. But she's not made any strides to actually do it. So I'm a little concerned that she's actually just using that as an excuse to buy her more time to not work on her activity level, making some changes in her diet, or anything further than that. I know turning to alcohol and vaping and stuff isn't the way to go. I know it could be, can be doing more damage to me than whatever, but I just want to be free. I just want you to know when you have days like that, you can reach out to us. And, and I'm willing to listen anytime. All right. Okay. Why, it, why do you always make me cry? Oh, I don't think I always make you cry. <laughs> I just don't know how to tell people I need help. Well, you just did it. <laughs> you just did it. Yeah. <laughs> For the last month and a half, I've been wanting to ask for help. I just didn't know how. The opportunity came to me. It probably wasn't going to come back by if I didn't take it now. What do you think your next steps are? Do you have any idea? You don't know? Would you consider possibly going back to rehab? No? OK. That's a phone call away. Okay. We can have that set up and facilitated. And I can tell you from their side, they will welcome you back. Okay. Um, but would you ever consider talking to a psychiatrist to where you just sit down with them and just get the noise out and just talk to them? I would love for you to consider that. Okay. I think it could be helpful. Okay. All right. Did you just say yes, kind of? I'm ready. You are ready? The most impressive thing that happened today is when Tammy looked at me and said, I don't know how to ask for help. It may not seem like anything big, but that's the glimmer of hope we're talking about. I think with Tammy, we have to take the smallest win possible and call it a win. You just made my day. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs> Bye, Tammy. Bye. Dr. Smith, like, he understood that I need to get my mental health under control before I worry about anything else. And just hope everything keeps going up at this point.